Brothers, sisters, what a fantastic day. You know, all over the rest of the country, the sun is shining and people have got their shirts off. But for some reason here in London, it is raining. But it's not stopping us from having a magnificent demonstration. A magnificent strike. And you know what? We should do this again. And you know what? We should do this again soon. What we see today is just an inkling, an inkling of the power that rests in the hands of working people if we only realise it. Without us, without working people delivering public services or in public or private sector jobs, the world can't run without us and we need to realise that strength and that power. It doesn't rely on those people down there. It relies on you and your workmates. There are people here today in a whole range of disputes, suffering low pay in local government, fighting for jobs, for pay, for pensions, in the civil service, in teaching and in our own union. And what unites us is we have a government that is destroying our public services and wrecking the lives of millions and we're going to stand up and fight back against that. Now say, I'll say about our own dispute, this is our 15th strike today and we are not giving up and we are not going away and those not down the road better realise I travel all over the country talking to firefighters, there is no mood to surrender, there is a mood to continue that fight until we get something and the only people who decide when this union finishes its campaign is the members of this union and as long as they're prepared to fight, I'm prepared to fight. We need to remember that it wasn't the people who clean our hospitals or teach our kids or put out fires or look after our elderly who caused the economic crisis. It was the spigs in the city of London, the billionaires and the banksters who were then who were then bailed out and it's handouts for them and hardship for the millions and that's not on and that's why we're here and that's why we will keep fighting back for as long as it takes and they will tell us they tell us that there's no alternative our people have been told that throughout history the bosses have always told us there's no alternative and if we'd listened to them in the past we never would have even removed slavery by the way if we'd listened to those people we never have won the right to be in trade unions if we'd listened to those people we'd never have won the right to vote if we'd listened to those people women would never have won the right to vote if we'd listened to those people the only way the only way we have ever made progress is when ordinary people have got organised, stood up and fought back and that's that task today. Solidarity forever. Stand firm, stand strong, stand together. Before we bring the money.